Move the boat back to where Baby Ocean was born on the morning of my 40th birthday. Home delivery, hand delivered, on the boat. There was no midwives or nobody from the state present. Just the dog that came from spirit for a week or two. And myself and Tara and Baby B slept through the night for the first time in our whole two years. And we gave birth to Ocean. So I brought the boat back out to where Ocean was born to do some fixing up. God's will. Love. Our boat. And I've written this last night. We do not know God without love. Our projections blind the mind. Misinformation, misinform at I on. Ego identification, identity can't see the woods for the trees. The separate ego, external eyes, the physical eyes. Fool the foolish mind, looking out at the outside world. The wise ones know eternal truth, unchanged, pristine creation. The whole may appear to be divided. The inner contains the outer limits. Physical eyes look out toward limits. The inner eye is the pineal gland. To physical eyes it looks like a pine cone. To physical eyes it's like a crystal ball. The idea of a crystal ball is an external eye's image of the function of the third eye. The inner eye focused inward seeing beyond the ratios of time and spatial forms of conformity of rationale. The only limit of imagination is eternal truth, a question mark. I can imagine anything, but the truth is beyond imagining. The truth is beyond imaginings. The highest truths are the deepest within. Die mentions death, a limit on life. On becomes off. The spirit departs the body and the spirit enters anew, changing clothes after a fashion, changing times in a dream. A dream of life being lived, naively. We are born innocent, in creation, born of the vision in the third eye. The third eye, summoned by sex, conceives of a life worth living, sees salvation as an answered prayer, a holy breath, eternity, breathing, eternally, heaving, the heavy firmament of heaven. In the mind's eye, delight of heaven enters earth, creation begins, yet again a new being enters the dream of life and begins the binary building blocks, calling the shots, DNA component parts, in forms, in slits and slots, third eye imagining self, imaging it self, in formation technology. 
Two sets of binary DNA splicing sequences of evolution's newest innovations. Multidimensional software. Codes of coincide dances. Coincidences. Molecular coordination. A cord of silver and gold in cosmic entanglement. Meant mind. As I got secretion secretly completing sequences of subdivisions, a futuristic embryo of lifetime in the chrome ozone of creation. An everyday phenomenon since ever time began, the born again universe. Enchanting, bless, singing. Life expressing the seed idea. Idea, deity. And becoming born. A beautiful bag of bloody bits. Bound within a bubble of skin. A little bundle of joy. Becoming a bump in mommy's belly. A cosmo astro naught in a bubble of jelly. A jellyfish destined to swim in the seas of humanity. And as each separate one of us grows older and older, gremlins grow on our shoulders. Our bags of Bloody bits and bones become boulders. Eventually, our baby soft sweetness turns sour. After hour after hours, powers of parental potential decide it's time to go to bed. We're worn out, stressed out. We need a break. Mummy and Daddy need to have some time alone. Some stillness in the cyclone. We need to talk about a break, a split, some time apart to recover our overexposed wounds. Wounds, swear words, swords, swollen, swore, sore, wore me out, sore eyes crying. Wound swears, words. Words, swollen swore, sore eyes crying, the joy of life becoming sighing. The child learns of sadness and grief and sighs of a relief and brief flurries of fury. The devilish thoughts of reality, bound by belief in duality, in a harsh world, opposing love's vanity of insanity in the sight of humanity. Opposing thoughts make no sense to innocence. You have to learn to be a grown-up, to make sense of opposing love, possessed by a separate ego, fighting love to defend the false from taking things personally. Person Ali, afraid to find out you are no longer in love, suffering separation, insecurity. Third eye invasion, the third world war, nuclear family, hollow cost, what love has put together, let no man split apart. The devil's bombshell explosion split the nucleus in twain. Hearts split open in pain. The split mind's hindsight's insane. Sight sin sane. Sight's insane. Sight sin sane. The same game as the name game. The false persona. The fictional identity. The half-life radiation I learned to pretend to be 
by doing. A feedback loop of complicity. 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 Complication. Complicate. Complicate. Civilizations. Cities. Sit he. The devil directs its denizens to teach the children to fear. Suffer little children to come unto me. That's all I wrote there last night now. I'll write more today. It's a rainy day on the outskirts of Bath. At the fire lit, you can see the smoke there. I'll show you where we are. See this in the background, let's see. Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen this one here on the other side of my door on the other side of the door of a book called God's Will. This one is the Psalm of David. The 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. Here's where I'm parked up at the moment. This morning I moved the boat a little bit so that I'm in the woods. The rain's just stopped. Here we are, up into the woods. Here comes a boat down the canal. There's God's will. A wee boat. And there's the view of the little stretch of canal to an aqueduct. You see that building at the end, just to the left of there is where Ocean was born. Let's have a look at God's will and Alma Mary. that sometimes becomes like an albatross around my neck because of money in the world got to pay money for boats got to pay a license to be allowed to have a boat and by taking the choice being forced into having to get a license 
you lose responsibility. Well, you lose ownership of the boat you think you own. This boat is called God's Will. There's a preacher couple who got too old to stay living in the boat. That's who I bought the boat from. To end up living on the canals and rivers in Britain. God's will spooked me out. Changed the name to Unfeat Dove and then changed it again to Love. What's God's will but love? What is this word God they all use anyway? People using the word God don't seem so trustworthy really. They seem to be caught in their egos. They seem to be the religious types who come up with phrases like suffer little children to come on to me. There's a little fairy dell under a tree. So in Ocean's conception, Ocean was conceived around the time of the end of the Mayan calendar, winter solstice 2012. Born in late September 2013. Nice to be in nature. Yet here's the reality is <coughs> Tara and I appear to be split up at the minute because of a conversation in which it was said and I accepted and here we are checking out what it's like to not be together all the time. See how it goes. 